Good day, viewers and listeners. My name is Mahmoud Sen. I am back again with our English lessons. Lower basic. And you started nouns. Today, I want to introduce you to the types of nouns. But before we move on to that, you were given a homework. I just want us to have a review of that homework. That's the homework. The instructions says, identify and underline the common nouns in the following sentences. Identify and underline the, common, the nouns in the following sentences. Let's look at the sentences. The first one, which is number one, my mother is a nurse. My mother is a nurse. Looking at that sentence, mother and nurse are the nouns in that sentence. I hope you're with your books to confirm your answers. Number two, the thief refused to tell the police the truth. The thief refused to tell the police the truth. In that sentence, thief, police, and truth. Thief, police, and truth are the nouns in that sentence. Number three, the beach was crowded with people. The beach was crowded with people. The nouns in that sentence are beach and people. Beach and people. We move on to the next one. Number four, I saw a goat in the school garden. I saw a goat in the school garden. Here, the nouns we have in that sentence are goat and garden. Goat and garden. Let's proceed. Number five, the virus is a killer disease. The virus is a killer disease. And here, virus is a name of a disease, so virus is a noun, and disease is also a noun. So these are the two nouns in the sentence, virus and disease. Number six, Peter has gone to Banjul. Peter has gone to Banjul. Looking at this sentence, the names that we have in this sentence is Peter and Banjul. So these are the two nouns in the sentence. Peter and Banjul. Number seven. The book is on the table. The book is on the table. Here, book which is the name of a thing, and table, which is also a name of a thing. So the two nouns in this sentence are book and table. Book and table. Number eight, the girl carries a bucket of water. The girl carries a bucket of water. Here, Girl is a noun, 
bucket is also a noun and water these are the three nouns girl bucket and water nine if you eat too many sweets you will have bad teeth if you eat too many sweets you will have bad feet here sweets and teeth are the two nouns in this sentence sweets and teeth good and the last question number 10 people in the gambia eat a lot of fish looking at this sentence people the gambia and fish are the three names we have in the sentence people the gambia and fish these are the nouns in that sentence thank you so much that was just a review of the homework and i hope you've now confirmed your answers now we're going to move on with our today's lesson but before we move on we are going to have a quick recap of what nouns are remember in your previous lessons you've learned that nouns name a person place animal thing or idea examples of persons names of persons woman women man and baby examples of names of animals dog pig and cat examples of names of places home school fire station examples of names of things sun car and chair examples of names of ideas or feelings anger strength and love that was just a quick recap now we move on i hope this has refreshed your memories about what nouns are so basically we are going to start with an early work activity and this activity i want us to look at nouns examples of nouns for example girl you all know that girl is an example of a noun name of a person another example could be shoes this is also a name and the other one is pet pet now let's look at these three nouns. Can you give me examples of names of girls? Fatu. Awa, very good. These are examples of names of girls. How about shoe types? We can have Nike and Adidas. Examples of pets Bobby, 
could be the name of your pet dog. And also, Spotty could be the name of your pet cat. So looking at these two, here we have a common name. If you look at Fatu and Awa, they are all girls. Their common name. The common names is girl. Nike and Adidas are shoe types. Bobby and Spotty are names of pets. And that leads us to what we call common and proper nouns. And this is our topic today. What we are, these are the two types of nouns we are going to look at today. Common noun refer to the name common to all persons, places, animals, or things of the same kind. As you have seen in this example, girl is a common name to Fatu and Awa. Shoes is also a common name to these two shoe types, Nike and Adidas. Pet is a common name to Bobby and Spotty. So things, names of things in general, is what we call common nouns. You've seen examples, other examples in your screen. Woman, school, dog, and shoes. And shoe. Proper noun refers to the name of a particular person, place, animal, or thing. You have seen the names of particular person. When we say girl, it's general. But if we are specific, now when we say fatu, we are saying the name of a particular girl. Nike is the name of a particular shoe type. Bobby is the name of a particular pet animal. So, these are what we call common and proper nouns. Common refers to a, 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 noun, a name common to all persons, places, animal, or thing of the same kind. Whilst proper noun refers to the name of a particular, specific person, place, animal, or thing. Example, Mrs. Ba is the name of a particular person. St. Peter's Lower Basic School is the name of a particular school. When we say school, that is a common name. But if we say St. Peter's Lower Basic School, we are now talking about a specific school, a particular school. Bobby is another example, and Nike. But please take note. In English, or in, in written English, a proper noun begins with a capital letter. This is why you are seeing all the specific names are being written starting with a capital letter. Now we move on to the first activity that we are going to do together. The instructions reads, match the proper nouns and the common nouns. Match the proper nouns and the common nouns. In the first list, we have common nouns. And in the other list, beside the first list, are proper nouns. In other words, 
we have common names, general names of person, place, animal, or thing. And on the other side, we have specific names of persons, places, animal, or thing. I will go through the list very fast. The first list, common nouns, country, teacher, month, shoes, pet, town, and restaurant. I repeat again, country, teacher, month, shoes, pet, town, and restaurant. And now the proper nouns. December, Adidas, Spotty, Mali, Mr. Sen, Timeless, Bansan. I repeat again. December, Adidas, Spotty, Mali, Mr. Sen, Timeless, and Bansan. Now we start the matching now. Common name, country. The specific name of a country is Mali. So country will match Mali. Country, Mali. The next common name we have is teacher. Teacher. And the specific name of a person, remember teacher is a name of a person. The specific name of a person on the other list is Mr. Sen. So teacher matches Mr. Sen. The next common name, month. Month. And now looking at the other list, the specific name of a month in that list is December. So therefore month matches December. Shoes is the next common name. Shoes. And looking at the other list, the specific name of a shoe type here is Adidas. So shoes, the specific name of a shoe type is Adidas. So shoes, Adidas. Now the next one is what? Pet. Pet is the next common name. And now looking at the other list, the specific name of a pet is Spotty. So pet matches Spotty. The next one is, the next common name is Town. Town. Now looking at the other list, the specific name of a town in that list is Bansang. So town is Bansang. And the last on the list now, which is restaurant. And the specific name of a restaurant in the other list is timeless. So these two match. That's the first activity. Now we move on to the second one. Here, activity two. Find the common nouns. Instructions. Read the sentences below and underline all of the common nouns that you find. The number at the end of the sentence shows you how many common nouns you should find. And take note of the reminder, a common noun is the general name of a person, place, or thing. It does not, I repeat again, I repeat, it does not name a particular person, place, or thing, and does not need to be capitalized. Now looking at the fourth sentence now, 
Number one, I hope you had a great time. I hope you had a great time. In this sentence, remember we said common nouns are general names. The general name we have in this sen sentence is time. Time. And remember, at the end of the sentence, we, are, we have number one. So we should identify only one common noun. So the one common noun in that sentence is time. We move on to the second one, which is number two. And the sentence reads, he plays the drum. He plays the drum. And here we are going to identify one common noun because we have number one encoded in curly brackets at the end of the sentence. So let's identify the common noun in that sentence together. He plays the drum. And now looking at the sentence, the only general name or common name we have in the sentence is drum. So therefore, the common noun in that sentence is drum. Drum is a general name of a thing. Good. So drum is the common noun in the sentence. Now we move on to the third question, number three. I read. We show one crocodile in the pond. We show one crocodile in the pond. And here we are asked to identify two common nouns, two general names of either a person, place, or thing. So looking at the sentence, we show one crocodile in the pond, the false common noun is crocodile. Crocodile is a name of an animal, a general name of an animal, crocodile. And the other common noun is what? Pond. Pond. Pond also is a common name. Pond. So in this sentence, the the two common names or the two common nouns are crocodile and pond. Now going, moving on to the next question, number four. Ida went to the shop and bought books and pencils. Ida went to the shop and bought books and pencils. Now looking at this sentence, um, at the end of the sentence, we see three in a curly bracket. So we are going to identify three common nouns in this sentence. Now looking at the sentence, let's identify the common nouns, common names that we have. The first one is shop. Mm -hmm. Books is the other one. And pencils. Shop, books, and pencils. These are the three common nouns in the sentence. The last question for this activity. I played with his dog. I played with his dog. And here we are to identify only one common noun. And, the, and that one common noun is dog. Dog. Very good. So dog is the common noun. 
These are the common nouns in these sentences. Now we move on to the next activity. And that is activity three. Find the proper nouns. Here we are going to find the proper nouns. Remember the, uh, this uh, activity number two? We were asked to find the common nouns. And now in this activity, activity three, we are going to find the proper nouns. <coughs> Instructions, <clears throat> I read, circle the proper noun in each sentence. Circle the proper noun in each sentence. Take note, there is a reminder. A proper noun is the name of a specific person, place, or thing. A proper noun Proper nouns always begin with a capital letter. Example, Royal Victoria Teaching Hospital is in Banjul. Royal Victoria Teaching Hospital is in Banjul. Here, Royal Victoria Teaching Hospital is the name of a particular hospital. Banjul is also a name of a particular city or a specific city. So Royal Victoria Teaching Hospital and Banjul are the two proper nouns in this sentence. Now we move on to the questions now. Question number one. I like to shop at Kairaba Shopping Center. I like to shop at Kairaba Shopping Center. Here, Kairaba Shopping Center is the specific name of a place. So therefore, Kairaba Shopping Center is the proper noun in the sentence. Kairaba Shopping Center. Number two, Ibrahim went to the library. Ibrahim went to the library. Here, can we look at the sentence together and identify a specific name or a particular name? And here, Ibrahim is the particular name or the specific name in that sentence. So Ibrahim is the proper noun, is a particular name of a person. Number three, we took a test on Friday. We took a test on Friday. Friday is the proper noun. Friday is the name of a particular day. So the proper noun in the sentence is Friday. And now the last question in this activity. Mrs. Gomez plays games on her computer. Mrs. Gomez plays games on her computer. And obviously, you will all agree with me that Mrs. Gomez is a name of a particular person. So therefore, Mrs. Gomez is the proper noun in this sentence. All these nouns should be circled. Remember the instruction says we circle them. So in the sentence, circle the proper nouns. So these are the proper nouns in that sentence, in these sentences. In conclusion, below is a chart 
that serves a summary of our today's topic of discussion, which is common nouns and proper nouns. I believe we all know what are common nouns and what are proper nouns. Remember common, general name of a person, place, thing, or animal. And proper, that is a particular name or a specific name of a person, place, animal, or thing. Here we have a chart, and in this chart, we are going to look at common names and specific names. Common names or general names are referred to as common nouns. Specific names or particular names are referred to as proper nouns. Starting with names of persons. Common, we have boy, girl, teacher, doctor, and police. And specific names, proper nouns, Abu, Aisatu, Misba, Dr. Sisi. We move on to places now, names of places. We looked at general names or common names, school, mall, library, restaurant. And now, specific names of places. Name of Kunku, Lower Basic School, Starfish. Now we move on to names of things. First, common names or general names of things. Example, we have basket, car, book, shoes, chair. And now to the proper nouns or specific names of things. Honda, the Gruffalo, Nike. Now the last on the chart, which is names of animals. General names or common nouns, we have dog, fish, monkey, bird. And now to the proper nouns, which are specific names of animals. Bobby dog, big bird, curious judge. Before I end this lesson, I have a homework for you. So get your books and pencils ready to copy this homework. Homework instructions. I read, underline the common nouns and circle the proper nouns in the following sentences. I repeat, underline the common nouns and circle the proper nouns in the following sentences. Example, Mrs. Gomez plays games on her computer. Mrs. Gomez plays games on her computer. Remember the instruction. We are asked to underline the common noun and then circle the proper noun. And looking at that sentence, Mrs. Gomez plays games on her computer. Can we identify the common nouns first? Games is one of them. Is there another common noun in the sentence? Yes, computer, computer. These are the two 
common nouns in the sentence. And the instruction says we should underline the common nouns. So we underline them. And now the proper noun in the sentence is Mrs. Gomez. So Mrs. Gomez, you circle Mrs. Gomez. Mrs. Gomez is the proper noun or the name of a specific person in that sentence. That was just an example. Now I will read the questions for you. The first one, write the sentences in your books and make so you underline the common nouns and circle the proper nouns in the sentence, in these sentences that I am going to read to you. The first one, number one. Uncle Musa lives by the market in Birkam. Uncle Musa lives by the market in Birkam. Number two. My birthday is in March. My birthday is in March. Number three. Binta lives in the Gambia. Binta lives in the Gambia. And the last question, number four. Mr. Ba goes to Mons on Friday. Mr. Ba goes to Mons on Friday. So please, in these sentences, underline the common nouns and circle the proper nouns. So that's the end of the lesson. I hope you enjoy it and you are now comfortable with what common nouns and proper nouns are. Until we meet again another time, I am Mr. Sen. Have a nice day. Goodbye.